let us know something more about the stars. Every night as you go out, you see a lot of stars in the sky. Right? So what exactly is a star? A star is basically nothing but a celestial body. Okay? And these celestial body, the good quality about them is that they are big plus they are hot and effectively, although it's not an equal to sign, basically this is just an arrow, effectively they have their own, which means what? Their own heat and light. So if we talk about the moon, the moon does not have the heat or light of its own. It is dependent on the sun for its heat and light. So the moon is basically a satellite. But if we talk about the stars, they have their own heat, they have their own light. They are pretty big in size and they are very hot as well. Now because these are very far away from the earth, okay, so they appear small in size if actually you see their sizes might be much 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 larger than that of a moon. Right? Now I told you that they have heat and light of their own and there is a large amount of light that they emit. Do you know what is there in our solar system which emits light? It is the sun. Right? The sun emits a lot of light and therefore even sun if you know is a star. Right? Even sun is a star. Now today you have a large number of things if you want to trace directions, right? In ancient times when these things were not there, so you have Google Maps today that can be used to identify directions and locate places. But in ancient time when these things were not available or compasses were not available, right? What you, people used to do was they used to watch out for stars to see the direction. So one such interesting thing which is there is something which is called a Saptarishi or a small beer pattern. So people used to see what are the patterns of the star, okay, and these patterns were used to identify the direction. If we look at Saptarishi, it was something like this, you know. So effectively you had a star here, you had a star here, two, then you had star here, three, four, five, six, seven. So these stars used to form something like this kind of a pattern. And then if you are standing here facing north, so your face should be towards north. So if you see this, this would go and it will kind of coincide over here with the north star. And to identify directions, people used to watch out for these stars, right? This is one star which remains at the same position. And together, if I call this particular thing where we have these seven stars, a group of stars, okay, more than one star, which form a particular pattern. If a pattern is formed, so let's say in this case, as I told you, the pattern is something like this. Not exactly a Z. Right? These patterns which a group of star formed were known as constellation. And the small bear or the Saptarishi in Hindi is one of the such famous constellations. Right? Couple of interesting things about stars. You want to quickly recapitulate? Okay. The stars have sun as one of the stars. Okay. They are big, they are hot, they have lights of their own. Let me use a different color. They're big, they're hot, they have a light of, and heat of their own. They emit a lot of light. And the coolest example of this is sun. It's very hot although. They were used to identify directions, right? In ancient times, when Google Maps and compasses were not there. And whenever they form a pattern, that pattern is known as constellations. 
I hope this knowledge will be useful for you guys about stars. Thank you for being with us today.